Officer? Yes, ma'am? Can you direct me to the MTI building? Certainly. See that huge, massive, towering building over there? That's it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, ma'am. Wow. It's a faux Roman palace. How very Las Vegas. <clears throat> Got a pizza delivery for Mr. McAllen. Really? I have not been informed of... Guy, you know how Mr. McAllen hates it when his pizza gets cold, yeah? So why don't you just do both of us a favor and call the elevator, yo? I'm afraid I can't. Listen, you want Mr. McAllen to get into a frizzy over his pineapple and baked clam pie? If that mozzarella cheese cools down... All right, all right. Give me the pizza and I will see to it that it's delivered as soon as possible. No can do, guy. This has got to be delivered now. <sighs> I can't very well leave my... All right, all right. Step into the elevator and I will send you to Mr. McAllen's office. But I want you back down here pronto. You understand? Capiche, Jerry? Gerald! Now hurry. Mr. McAllen likes his mozzarella hot and runny. What they're growing in these tanks, but whatever it is, it's disgusting and alive. What is that? It looks. God, it looks human! I guess the Vanguard are growing these creatures for a purpose. Maybe soldiers? That's one war I'll do my best to prevent. That's an amazing view. I can see clear across the city. They're humanoid. There are documents scattered all over the desk. Papers. There's nothing here that... That's my... That's my name. And my address. Uh, obviously, there's... God, they've been tracking me, watching me. Uh-oh. You were the last person I'd expect to find here, Shifter. I have spent an obscene amount of money and resources tracking you down. Since before we knew your name. Before you even came to Newport. And then, you simply walk into my lap. Like a mouse into a great big trap. Looking for the cheese, I'd imagine. The Guardian. Well, he's not here, I'm sorry to say. He's being held elsewhere, awaiting your directions. You do have them, yes. The directions to the Guardian's realm. Sorry, but I never managed to find the entrance to the Guardian's realm. Hmm. Pity, really. And I thought you'd done so well on your journey across Arcadia. At least you have the disc and the two jewels I'm missing in your possession. So, good of you to bring them here. 
I thought I might have to go pick them up myself. I have friends. Oh, you do. You do. The very best friends, too. Don't make me laugh, girl. Did you really expect your good buddy Cortez to tell you the truth? Or to come to your rescue like a knight in shining armor? He's been using you. Tobias, Cortez, the bloody kin, all your friends. They've been using you for their own selfish reasons. They're no different from me, Shifter. No different at all. The difference is that they care about people. Care? Care about what? I care about people. I have no intention of destroying mankind or enslaving it. I just want to open the borders to allow mankind to fulfill its true destiny. The Sentinel, they are the ones who wish to keep the truth secret, to keep the past locked in their sacred scriptures and behind their well-guarded doors. Now, you have been kept from the truth just as much as everyone, Shifter. You are just a piece in a grand game of chess. You're not even a big piece. You're a pawn. Now, give me the disc and the jewels, the dragon eyes. And then we can wrap this game up. I'm quite certain you know more than you let on about the Guardian's realm as well. I'll have that information too, very soon. I'm not giving you anything. I have an army of devoted soldiers in this building, Shifter. I run this city. What are you going to do? Round up a mob of your... friends? Forget about shifting as well. There are magical barriers against that in this building. All right, I give up. Here's the disc and the jewels. You see? I wasn't lying to you, unlike some of your accomplices. You don't have a choice. You must give me what you have. Fine. Who the hell cares anyway? I'm exhausted and I'm... I give up. Cortez has abandoned me. I've hurt my two best friends in the world and... and maybe you're right. Maybe you're no different from the Sentinel. Maybe they're as bad as you, and maybe you deserve each other. It doesn't matter, you've won. What are you gonna do now? Let me guess. This is where the heroine coaxes a confession from the villain before the final act of the play commences. Very well. I'm all for a satisfying denouement. What now? I have the Guardian, I have the disc, and the jewels, the key to the tower. And soon, if you play along like a nice little girl, I'll know where the gateway is. So you don't need me anymore? Apparently not. I thought I might, so I decided not to kill you. But now that I have the Guardian himself, your role in this game is... up. After you tell me what I need to know, of course. Then what will happen to me? Nothing. I'll let you go. You can do me no harm, and I'm not a cruel man. Not unusually so, at any rate. What will you do once you open the gateway to the Guardian's realm? 
Gordon Alloway will take the Guardian's place in the tower, and he will rule according to my plan. The worlds will be reunited, and the Earth will be one realm, as it was, and as it should be. So, this is all part of your master plan to rule the Earth? When you put it like that, I guess... yes. But I'll be a fair and just ruler, my dear. What's the point? You're like, what, 60? In another 60 years you'll be dead, and then what? Leave the kingdom to your firstborn? <laughs> I'll be around a lot longer than 60 years. A lot longer. You really don't know me, do you? You really don't know anything about me. Apparently not. What happened to Cortez? Cortez... I had Gordon take care of him. He was just interfering too much for his own sake. There are rules, and he broke them. He brought you into... He broke the rules. How did you get the other two jewels? I've had one of them for ages. The other came into my possession only a week ago, as luck would have it. And now I have the last two, and the disc. Why didn't you go look for the jewels and the pieces of the disc yourself? <sighs> I would have. But my power over Arcadia has been disturbingly limited until now. The Tyran have proved a valuable addition to my disciples, and with their help, I've dispensed with most of my opposition in Arcadia. But still, locating the stones would have required the cooperation of the Sentinel. Now, I may be a charismatic man, but I doubt they would have told me anything. And those wretched, magical races, you think they would have cooperated? No. They were waiting for their savior, their prophecy come true. And you seem to fit the bill. Why not take advantage of that? As for the jewels, the white and the blue of the dry kin were not likely to submit to me. And that was a battle even I'd be well advised to avoid. But time is ticking, Shifter, and the wheel of the balance is turning. Please, enter the elevator to your right. I want to show you something. What do you think? What is it? This is the end result of the centuries of work and research the Vanguard have done. A breeding ground for shifters such as yourself. Warrior shifters. So tell me, what do you think? Does it matter what I think? No. I'm just trying to be polite. Now, give me the disc and the jewels. And don't try anything this time. I might have to hurt you myself. <laughs> <laughs> 